Serge Gnabry, the man who always plays. What an excellent finish from Serge Gnabry. At age 24, he's already a top star at Bayern. Growing up, of course, you want to be a professional, but um, in the end, making it to Bayern and then uh, playing with these guys on such a level is yeah, it's nice, as a blessing. And he's not only impressing at Bayern, he's become equally indispensable for Germany. Here's Gnabry, one on one with Van Dijk. And then chase the ball away, but he can't stop it, what a goal! Serge Gnabry spielt immer. Bei mir. But his path to success has taken time. He is a confident guy who wants to do his best, but it took him a long time to find his, his own way. What hurdles did Gnabry have to overcome and what steps did he take along the way? My football journey, I think it's a, it's a bit of a long one. I went to Arsenal when I was 16, Werder Bremen, Hoffenheim, and now I'm here and happy to be part of Bayern Munich. Has Serge Gnabry finally reached stardom status? Born to a German mother and Ivorian father, Gnabry's story begins at his local club, Stuttgart. Er war für seinen Altersbereich sicherlich einer der talentiertesten Spieler in Deutschland. Das war als er 13 Jahre alt war. But Germany's young talent left the comforts of home early on. At 16, he took a courageous step, moving to London to join the top English club Arsenal's football academy. Verliebt in London. Auf jeden Fall ist eine großartige Stadt. Man kann viele Sachen hier erleben, viele schöne Dinge. London ist eine Weltmetropole. Ich meine, was gibt's Besseres, als in so einer Stadt zu leben? Gnabry's father, Jean Hermann, was a bit skeptical of his decision at first. Bevor der krumme Gedanke kommt, muss ich mit. Though he was talented, it wasn't always easy for the young Gnabry to assert himself on Arsenal's youth team. His time in England wasn't without its setbacks. The only thing that was a little bit hard was the communication in the first couple of months. I mean, I went to, I went to school, done, done English there, but the way or the pace they talk with was way different. So that was a bit of a struggle. Um, but afterwards, it was just great. And obviously, as a club, Arsenal, perfect uh, for young players. Former Arsenal coach Arsene Wenger had a reputation for giving young players a chance, and Gnabry was eager to show what he was made of. His new teammates, including some German stars like Mesut Özil and Lukas Podolski, helped Gnabry settle in. Arsenal is one of the greatest clubs in the world. I felt super well here. Everyone was super nice to me. They were super friendly. But on the whole, I was really excited to take on the job. Former German international Per Mertesacker also took the young Gnabry under his wing. What I saw then was a very immature, but still um, very dynamic attack attacking winger. He was impressive because you could see that he has got the tempo, he has got the attacking mind, um, and kind of some players who can be very dynamic and make the difference and win a one-on-one -on -one situation and go direct to the goal. So he, he had that moment where you could see like, yeah, there's, there's more to come from him. Unfortunately, playing time was hard to come by with the likes of Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Theo Walcott in his same position. The criticism sometimes helped him to just stay on the ground um, because one good training in the first team doesn't mean anything. You haven't done nothing for the club. At the moment, you cost the club money, not vice versa. So that kind of mindset of him wanting to reach the highest level um, and not being just a stranger in academy football who does well between 16 and 18. Even a season out on loan to West Brom failed to give Gnabry more game time, largely because he was repeatedly out injured. So bald er sich wohl gefühlt hat, fit, kam die nächste Verletzung und es war ihm hin und her, hin und her. I always said to him, you need to do more, you need to do the extra, otherwise you will have no chance um, to be a top professional in the game. At some point, it became clear that Gnabry would never make a big breakthrough at Arsenal. There's big credit to Wenger as well, who recognised that Serge Gnabry um, can have a big career, but not here at Arsenal. So he made his way back to Germany, to the Bundesliga. Gnabry used the chance to prove his worth. You need to embrace the challenge and not think that Bremen is a step back. 
this is a step forward for you because people will demand from you uh, top performances every single week. And that is totally different to the position you were at Arsenal. His transfer to Bremen brought exactly that. Loads of playing time and a position as a starter. At Bremen, Gnabry could demonstrate all he'd learned in England. Meine Zeit in England hat mich geprägt. Ich würde den Schritt genau nochmal so machen, wie ich ihn damals gemacht habe, es ausprobieren, ins Ausland zu gehen. Soon, the rising star at Bremen caught Bayern's attention. In 2017, he made the move to the record champions for an 8 million euro transfer fee. From there, he was promptly loaned out to Hoffenheim for the year. Wo die Spielweise einfach mir sehr gefallen hat, sehr offensiv, sehr spielbestimmt. Und dann habe ich gesagt, okay, bevor ich, bevor ich zu Bayern gehe, will ich davor noch mal einen Schritt machen. With 13 goals and nine assists in his first season at Bayern, Gnabry contributed significantly to their domestic double-winning 2018-19 season. Under coach Niko Kovac, Gnabry became a regular starter. I think he can be leading Bayern Munich, you know, from the wings he can lead the national, the, the national team of Germany, you know, be a, a constant threat. And um, he got praise from a lot of good coaches so far already, so people are not shy to praise him, but I'm not shy to keep him on the ground, you know, as much as I can. One such coach is Germany's Joachim Löw. After success at the Olympics and the under-21 European Championships, Gnabry's spot on the national team is well deserved. Serge Gnabry spielt immer bei mir. He needs to lead the next generation, really, uh, with his quality, with his strength, with his maturity that he has gained over the years. But now it's for him to excel that level on on an international basis and really represent Germany at the biggest stages. And Germany's top talent wants to share his good fortune with others. Since 2017, Gnabry has been taking part in the Common Goal project. He donates a percentage of his income and so helps support other young talents. The wichtigste person in my entwicklung is my father, who has been trained from small off, and helped me. There are many who have talent, where the support is missing. You can see Wenn man ihn nicht kennt, dass er ein Fußballprofi ist, der bei Bayern spielt. Und das macht mich stolz. Er ist ganz auf dem Boden geblieben, wie wir uns gewünscht haben. Ja, nicht so die Nase hoch oder einfach Mensch bleiben. Despite his high-flying career, Gnabry keeps both his feet on the ground. Having started as a reserve in England, he's fought his way to the very top and learned loads along the way. Now he's the only Germany player with a guaranteed spot on the pitch. Now all that's missing are the big titles. I can say that I'm really proud of him. You know, that I've seen a player who was very immature and couldn't make his own proper decisions to a guy who really stepped up and I was able to uh, be himself, understand himself, express his feelings and make sure that he delivers them. <laughs>